Unfortunately, that's not how it works. Oh, nice timing. <laughs> What's up, fanboys and fangirls? Welcome back to another episode of the What the Fanboy Show. My name is Luke, and I am joined by Mr. Tyler. What's up? What's up? To the right, as usual, the beautiful Brett Eitzen. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Guys, our best introduction ever. <laughs> Yes, we I nailed it. I think we did nail that. No, I never to brag for a few seconds. We never have to do that again. Now we just never have to do it. Every, yeah, okay. we can just totally just be idiots. So do it like which we've is done. Way more fun. All the other episodes. <laughs> Welcome to uh, the bed, boy. Uh, <laughs> it works. Oh, don't vomit on the show. No, no, no. It's okay. It's just a visual gag. Uh, no. Also works. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you guys have a crazy week as I did, dude. Yeah, yes. ignore the grammar. Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, we did a lot this week. Yeah, we did Holy mainly cow. together. A lot of things together. We, this is the most we've hung out, like, in a week. Without like, we've hung out and not did podcast stuff. Tyler and I kind of hang out a lot more <laughs> next week. We did podcast worthy stuff, right? But it right. wasn't. We weren't for, recording. We leaving, weren't doing it for hanging. the podcast. I'm not sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, we are gonna hang out this coming weekend. Where, Where are you gonna, going? Just, the mall? Just Kansas City. <laughs> NCAA tournaments there. A oh, lot of fun. Cool. Who are you rooting for? Um, whoever we can interview. <laughs> <laughs> no, Brett. Where are we going? Why don't you tell the we people? We are going to Planet Comic Con. Q graphic, which I don't have. Oh. Uh, um. Yeah. So. We're going up. We got some press passes. We're going to go do some interviews and some fun vlog style stuff. And We're going to go listen to some panels and get the inside scoop on a few Ooh, things. One of the fun things that we'll maybe need to get some like some Twitter polls going okay. on is we're going to buy some uh, some like loot boxes or some like mystery boxes. Yeah. So And then unbox those. Those would be fun. Yeah. I'm going to hang out at home. <laughs> I might watch a movie or play Anthem, probably. So, We'll just FaceTime you. <laughs> we'll miss you. If you. As you guys post on Instagram stories, maybe I'll like go to the zoo and I'll like interview a sheep or something. <laughs> oh, dude, that'd be... <laughs> yeah, we do need to be pretty active on the Instagram while we're there. I know. So, so one of the things, um, one of my favorite memories on this podcast is the time Eric Exum sent a question, is cereal soup? And so, Are you going to ask that to every single one? I'm getting there. <laughs> so I think at the end of every interview, that's how I end the interview. That's a great way to end the interview. Because, like, they're going to get a lot of the same questions all day long. Yeah, yeah. Just ask them something off the wall. Is cereal soup? It's still not. I can. I don't think it's a soup. But it'll be really fun to hear what people say if they react at all. <laughs> if they just. going to laugh and be like, you guys suck at this. They'll be like, <laughs> what? <laughs> nah, I just, it's going to be great. I just really hope it's Rosenbaum. <laughs> his cereal soup and he's just gonna be like what i just you just need somebody to just go off on it yeah like, it's yeah. cereal soup of course it is <laughs> and just go hard on yes they think it's soup or no they think it isn't that would be awesome so yeah we're really looking forward to that um that's, be on the lookout that's next week what yep. would you yep. guys do this past week i'll let brett kick us off um so back when Apex first came out, I was having a lot of fun with it. Apex Legends. So I bought like a bunch of Apex coins to support. To support because it's a it's a free game, and you know that's how they that's how they are going to, you know, make their money or stay alive. Stay alive. Yeah, get their kids through <laughs> school. Um, oh, yeah, if you make enough, you can send your kids anywhere. Yeah, uh, true. So, I went ahead with the with those Apex coins I'd already bought. I went ahead and got the Battle Pass for Season 1. Yeet. So, I've been playing... Oh, I played probably three evenings of that this last week. A lot of fun. Still loving it. Um, can't wait to see what they have coming up still in the... Like, the season just launched. 
in the battle pass like that first thing and like and along with a new character um, but supposedly there there's might be another character coming yet this season as well as like a like a event like an in-game event Woo! so we'll see is it gonna be a marshmallow concert mm. <laughs> sorry no it will not <laughs> i haven't played apex in a while um, i bought the battle pass and played like three games that night and got a win i haven't played it since because of the division yeah, well, that is that is good. Um, other than that, I played a little bit more Destiny. We beat that Prestige raid. Nice. Gersh, dang it. Took us in long enough. Um, and then we all went and saw some movies together. We us did. and Shazam. That'll be Shazam. our first topic after news. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Teasing. Teasing. I, uh... I also played some games. What's up, Leroy? I played... Uh, Leroy Jenkins. It's, it's actually Leroy Kelly. Leroy Kelly. <laughs> uh, I played The Division 2 quite a bit. Um, I'm up to level 23 now, so I'm getting getting close to the in-game stuff. I'm like level 12 or 13 in the Dark Zone. We're also in the fun. now. Getting there. <laughs> um it just the game just continues to get better. The missions are getting cooler and cooler. Um, I rescued the president. Spoiler oh, alert! Sorry. Nice. And he is awesome. What if you fail to rescue the president? Is he dead for the rest Which of the No, because the he game? picks up. He like the guy's holding him hostage. He takes the gun from him and shoots the guy himself, and then you oh. help him shoot all these other people. He's pretty okay, awesome. Okay, okay. So he, he you know, it's he knows how to hold his own. Yeah, he's good. Tomato okay, good. president. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he, he's pretty great. Um, I watched. Four movies. Ooh. I watched Us, Shazam, Godzilla for my first watch with these two goons. That's right. We also watched Godzilla. And then I watched, uh, (laughs) last night, Sunday night, I watched Annihilation again, uh, which was my favorite movie from last year. Holds up just fine. Absolutely incredible movie. What did you think of Godzilla? I liked it. I I thought it was really good. Um, I, I just... Want the sequel now? Yeah. <laughs> I just want to see Godzilla wreck stuff. I got I got faked out. This movie's been out long enough. I'm just gonna talk about it. I don't care if I spoil things. <laughs> yeah, go for it. But and he grabs a little mantis monster thing. What's its name? Is it's it like, a, the Muto. Muto. I always want to call it Mayo, but then I'm like, that's energy water stuff. Uh, yes, uh, no, it's when it right. grabs the Muto by its like jaw, I was like, oh, he's gonna snap this dude's head in half, and then he's just like, nope. <laughs> Atomic breath. And I was like. Uh. <laughs> We're doing this. <laughs> so now I'm really excited to see King of Monsters. Um, can't get here soon enough. Yeah. But there's a couple other movies in between there that I'm pretty excited about as well. So that makes it a little bit easier. Indeed. Um, yes. I read the first issue of DC Rebirth's uh, Shazam run that they recently kicked off. I think it was in December, which it's not super recent. But Jeff Johns is writing it again. He wrote the new 52 one as well. Um I don't know if they wrote this after the movie, like, or in just alongside the movie, but like the suit design is almost identical. Mm. It's pretty awesome, um, but it is really good. I look forward to reading more of that as it comes out. Um, and then I watched more Love, Death, and Robots. Love, Death, and Robots. One of the weirdest shows ever, but it's, it's good. It's really good. It's intriguing, and yeah. I love how easy it is to watch. It's just, it, I also watch this. I like I like Luke's comment from last week, where it's like, it's like such good little, typically sci-fi stories, mm-hmm. and there's just like if they toned back on like some of the nudity or sexuality, mm-hmm. like. Just, just one little level. There's almost no reason for any it, of it. Yeah, it would be so good. It could be so much better. Yeah. yeah, it's a little much. Yeah, it's not always used to enhance the story. It's there to because oh we oh, elicit <gasps> guys. A, we can put boobs in this <gasps> right. <gasps> a response because it's animated. It's like that 14 year old kid who goes to an R rated movie and they're like, <gasps> yeah. <laughs> well, those 14 year old kids made all these episodes. They're just super talented. <laughs> I would say, well, they are really David Fincher talented. is 14 years old. <laughs> Which one did he do? It's David Fincher and Tim Miller. I didn't know they did all of them. Mm, well, they're show running it. Like, but yeah, executive producers, basically. I'm sure Tim Miller had a hand in a lot of the CG yeah. looking ones. 
Because they look like the Arkham Origins. Yeah, and then the cutscenes. the DC Universe Online. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, that one's so good, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good show, though. I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, I... I are you done? Yeah. Okay, I finished Love, Death, <laughs> and Robots. I watched just over half of it last week, but, yeah, it's it's really good. Um, so I'd say if you're into really, really weird, strange sci-fi, you'll, you should give that a chance. There's some duds in there, but for the most part... Yeah, the yogurt really- one... Nope. For the most part, it's good. Yogurt one sucks. The yogurt one is not the worst. <laughs> the no. dump, the one about the dump is the worst one. <laughs> I hated that one. Yeah, I thought that one was kind of dumb. I watched that one today, actually. That one was so frustrating. I was like, that's the only one that it ended, and I was like, finally, we can move on to the <laughs> next one. But um, I watched seven movies, Tyler, so sorry. In this week, I had to up you. Um, I watched four more Bond movies. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Sad. Those are so easy to watch, though. <laughs> um, you Diamonds... could be playing Apex with us. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, I could. <laughs> Diamonds are forever. Live and let die. Uh, Man with the Golden Gun and Spy Who Loved Me. So I'm in the Roger Moore era now. Mm-hmm. I used to hate the Roger Moore ones. Man, I slept on his a lot. His are so much better than Sean Connery's. He's a better Bond. I wish I would have caught onto that earlier. Um, and then also I watched Godzilla with you guys. Um, Ocean Shazam. So of course. I can't really talk about all those yet. Not and then yet. I've I played a ton of Anthem over the weekend. Um, I play primarily on Grandmaster Two now. What does it go up to? Grandmaster Three. Um, I have a Masterwork Interceptor and a Masterwork Colossus, so I can really do some damage, which is a lot of fun. Yeah, That's man. awesome. Me and the other five people are still played. <laughs> but, <laughs> but hey, we're having a good How time. How does that work for grouping? You go three and three or what? <laughs> no, somebody just has to wait. Somebody's in Fort Tarsus constantly salvaging stuff because they're getting so many, so much loot. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm still having a blast with Anthem. So other than that, I played like I got my I've been I'm starting to get legendary stuff now, which is the highest tier above masterwork and the stuff they give you is it's like just comes with so much armor and shield like i feel like if i'd go down into just hard i just would never die (laughs) just a walking tank (laughs) just walking just (laughs) it's crazy you need to go to easy and see how hard it is to kill a titan i should i should try and one shot it (laughs) yeah (laughs) And then report back next week. I'll do it. It's your homework. Oh, man. I'm not doing the homework. I'm against homework. Oh. It's your... Mainly because I'm not in school anymore. It's your quest? No. Mm. Bounty? What? Uh, quest. For... Contract? Yeah. It's your contract. Mm. <laughs> there you go. That works. Also, they're... the all the Act 1 stuff is probably going to be dropping this week as you guys are at Planet Comic Con. So I'm excited for that. Anyway, that's everything I did. So let's do news. Let's knock out the news. No. The dang news. There's a lot of that today. Other breaking news. I forgot about water. One of Wait, them. The big pretty one. big. <laughs> but we got to we got to get through all the little ones before we get to the big ones. Is that fair? Let's yes. just how about we go through all the trailers? Hit your trailer roundup, Luke. All right, first trailer. Stranger Things 3. Yes. Thumbs up. Great board. trailer. Thumbs up. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Thumbs yes. up. Good Sideways trailer. thumb. Um, John Wick 3, Parabellum. Haven't watched it because I haven't seen the first two. Two thumbs up. Guns. Definitely thumb up. Thumb up. Don't. Thumb up. Don't. Uh, I didn't need to see all that, but very good. Oh, dude, I'm so jacked. Like, no, like, I'm excited. And I love like, the Matrix yeah, references. I'm, I'm sure. Did I'm see still kind of hoping they're saving. They have something in their back pocket. Guns. Lots of. For the, uh, yeah. What if it turns out it's actually just Neo? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, the next round of the machine's fake life they're giving everybody. Um, Krypton Season 2. I'm probably the only person that watched that one. Okay, I no. watched it. They showed Doomsday and he looks no. way better than yes, Batman v Superman. looks Doomsday. really good. <laughs> Sweet. And then the best trailer from the week, hands down, Dora in the I'm Lost City of there Gold. I'm going to come over there and punch you. <laughs> Okay. Diego, you're so skinny and tall. (laughs) What? (laughs) And my cousin. (laughs) Ooh. It's so weird. Where are you from? The jungle. 
Boots isn't even wearing boots. I know. What is this? Disappointed. Hashtag not my boots. <laughs> <laughs> I don't own a pair of boots, so they're definitely not my boots. They're definitely not your boots. Come on. Oh, Deeds. I still have your boots, actually. <laughs> <laughs> About from, that. From your wedding. <laughs> okay, real quick. Uh, any more trailers? That's all of them that I've written down. Okay, that's all I've written down. Uh, Battlefield Five Firestorm dropped today. Five months after the game came out. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler and I played a little bit before the we started recording tonight. We did. It's I'd, fun. Yeah, it's, it's cool. I need I need to spend a couple more hours to yeah. really get the feel for it. But it's I mean, and it's Battlefield. It looks beautiful. It plays wonderfully. Yeah, I it felt just, really smooth. I'm gonna have to try and find four friends with. Or three friends, so I can squat up. I didn't get to play it because we ran out of time. Mm, come uh, over I don't feel earlier. I, well, I don't feel bad about it. So. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta be honest. I'm probably still not gonna buy Battlefield, <laughs> but it's yeah. But it, it doesn't was cool make to it, play it even even with the like 50 percent discount right now. That doesn't that in and of itself doesn't justify a someone to go if I want to play it. a good battle royale there's a free one out there called Apex Legends go play Apex I'll just play that one totally sorry oh not a trailer real quick but Keanu Reeves oh yeah <laughs> Bill and Ted 3 <laughs> Bill and Ted 3 face the music is <laughs> happening uh, hopefully they're filming that this summer that's so crazy that's awesome I'm Crazy very, awesome. very excited for that. I'm gonna have to re- rewatch both of those movies because I can like barely remember. I'll them. watch them with you. Oh yes, commentaries. <laughs> Not for the first viewing for me. I've never seen those. Oh, you haven't? No. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited now. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Seriously, some of the best movies in cinema history are the Bill and Ted movies. I feel like you're lying. He's he's maybe overselling them a little bit, but they are real. I would not put them in the best. Well, define best. I don't know. <laughs> That's the thing, right? It's like you can't. <laughs> like it's they're subjective. horrible, oh. but they're so good. They're not. Hor- oh, they're also not horrible. They're they're horribly made, <laughs> but they're incredibly fun to watch. They're just they're like super. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll 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 accept that. Are they like Jay and Silent Bob movie level? They're better. They're better I think they're that. better. They're way better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Better made. You, yeah, you watch yes. it and you're just like, what? <laughs> hey, it's so great. <laughs> All right. Dang well, it. <laughs> do you have them? Are they on Amazon? Uh, I'm just rent them somewhere. Okay. Cool. Um. So, Tyler. Tyler I'll, doesn't. I'll get one in. A Tyler bit. doesn't get to do news good. this week. <laughs> I'll go while that loads. Shazam is currently sitting at 92 percent on Rotten Tomatoes. That's awesome. That's really good. Deserves Probably going to stay there. Deserves Probably 88 range is pretty accurate. I think yep. that was your guess, wasn't it? I think it deserves a I 90. Don't remember. Easy. A what? Like in, like in the like 90 and above. I can see how it won't fly with everyone, but yeah. that's a really good movie that I think does what it sets out to do. Sorry, we're not into that yeah, stop review it. yet. So. Stop it. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, Luke. All right, so Zack Snyder, <laughs> fun, fun, had a his own little convention this weekend on the anniversary of Batman v Superman, Ugh. and it was all his director's cuts followed by a Q and A. Nobody cares about any of them except Batman v Superman and obviously. Justice League. But wait, wait, of- we didn't get the Snyder cut of Justice League. No. Duh. Oh man, release the Snyder cut. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sure that's not the whole um, story. Well, he was much. talking a lot. <laughs> a uh, lot about the, the plans for Justice League, and he was talking about Martha, and he was talking um, about Batman a bit. And <laughs> I don't know if it was a very smart move to pretty much condemn an entire fan base of a character. Um, I'm just kind of going to read through some of these quotes. I'm going to edit it for language, though. <laughs> edit for language, but... Um, not context. <laughs> not context. Someone says to me, Ben Affleck's Batman killed a guy. I'm like, frick, really? Wake the frick up. I guess, I guess that's what I'm saying. Once you've lost your virginity to this freaking movie, and then you come and say to me something about my superhero wouldn't do that, I'm like, are you serious? I'm like down the frickin' road on that. 
it's a cool point of view to be like, my heroes are still innocent. My heroes didn't freaking lie to America. My heroes didn't embezzle money from their corporations. My heroes didn't commit any atrocities. That's cool, but you're living in a freaking dream world. Okay. Movies are a dream world. <laughs> we go to movies to get away from that stuff. It's, I'll, uh, it's play just, Devil's Advocate. I'll play Devil's Advocate for kicks and giggles. Um, it's his and Warner Brothers property to do with whatever they want. They can do whatever they want. Um, yes. And I, I appreciate when heroes aren't black and white. But... That said, that, <laughs> that was is not, not the way. That is not the way you address that. That is right. not the way you address that. <laughs> and that's what we were talking about. Luke and I were kind of texting back and forth about that today. Like, I get what you're going for, and I'm okay with what he's going for. Right. That's not how you you would address the situation. That's not how you handle it. I feel I feel bad in one sense. That man has a whole. I don't, it's cult? probably not. It's a cold. It he has really his own cult. is, and and I don't know if he. I don't. He I, is feeding them. That's the problem. Feeding. He them. is feeding them, and and until he stops feeding them, and and or makes something different, and stops talking about it, like they're just going to keep eating out of mm-hmm. the palm of his hand, which I'm sure feels good, right? Like to have that power over a group of people. I'm just saying, if but he, it's not healthy for either party. No. no. No, no. People, his next movie won't be good if he can't get over this one. No. If he's still that's... focusing on, oh, well, I, I did what I wanted, and it's good, and blah, blah, blah. You're living in a dream world because you don't appreciate what I did with this. It's like, no, I don't, but that's fine. Yeah. I moved on. Yeah. Like, I'm You're complaining perfect. about Justice League are now. You down, are you down the freaking road on that? <laughs> Listen, I'm in a car. I don't really know where it's going right now, but we'll find out. Nobody knows where it's going. It, I mean, it looks good right now, but also Zack Snyder isn't driving that car, yeah, so true. I'm a lot more content. The only thing that with the roadmap, the thing that really bothers me about like the whole Q and A thing is like he showed all of his movies, and the only questions that came up are all about Batman v Superman. Yeah, like he does have good movies. Like yeah. there are movies that he has made that are good, but nobody's talking about them because all anybody wants to talk about is Batman v Superman and Justice League. So it's just kind of. My one of my kind of takes away from his body of work. One of my favorite sure. stories I saw today was a a fan went up and asked him about the Snyder Cut, and the fan said that it exists. He's like, "Oh, it's Zack Snyder." I was talking to him one on one, and he said the Snyder Cut does exist. Am I gonna believe you? <laughs> no. Are was you it, kidding me? Was it the nice cast? <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. Um, but. I'm sure he'll report on that. But um, I don't also, think um, people know how movies are made. Yeah, I guarantee you. I guarantee you, the Snyder Cut exists. There is a cut. on paper. <laughs> no, the, I'm. I, the, we don't know completely when like, things switch. But at the very I guarantee least, he has a rough cut of his film laid out in an editing room somewhere. Not nearly polished, you know, but different color scenes. <laughs> right. Like this one, it is hasn't like gone through a post. Stick figures. <laughs> because what happens is, is you go in and you, well, first off, you have about six different revisions of your script, and then you shoot that script, and then depending on your dailies, you go back and you reshoot things. Yeah. <laughs> and then you have about six different edits because you put everything you want in, and then you slowly but surely cut it down. Is that how editing works? That's how editing works. <laughs> Yeah, comicbook.com today uh. released a story that said Zack Snyder says the ultimate cut existed before the theatrical cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, no way! That's one incredible. Of, one of the best comments I saw was, weird, time's linear. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, there's another story, like, Chris Terrio and him finished the Justice League's, the first Justice League script before Batman v Superman came out. And then WB was like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> like, this is too crazy. So that's your original version that you're actually never going to get, which is the one people are thinking that they will get, and they won't. Anyway. I don't imagine what we would get if there was a Snyder Cut is too much different from what was released. I mean, I'm sure there's I'm some sure, huge differences, but, like, yeah. overall. Here's I'm, the deal. You're going to have your 
your your three act like conflicts, which are our, which are all so CG that they could not change them, and then you have all the middle character development stuff, which is probably what got changed. Yep. And there's probably some secret meaning that nobody understands. Probably. Also, I liked Batman v Superman. So did I. Also, so did I. <laughs> I'm just so tired of hearing all this stuff. I love complaining about it, though, so that's why I always bring it up. It is fun. Let's keep this it thing rolling. Fun. Okay, what's next? Uh, I'll do a couple video game things. One, two new Switch consoles are on the way, a cheaper version and a more expensive bulked-up version Higher specs, all that good stuff. Cool. I'm going to stick with what I got. Uh, next thing. Yeah, me too. Fan favorite noob Cybot was confirmed for Mortal Kombat 11. <laughs> what <Ooh>. a noob. <laughs> Dude, he's so sick. You should watch this trailer. It's awesome. I did watch it. It was awesome, wasn't it? grossed it? me out. It's like Venom. Yeah. It's pretty dope. Like what Venom could have been. What Venom should have been? Yes. Yes, <laughs> that. Okay. I have another video game one. Should I just add that one in, too? Yeah, go for it. Uh, Lord of the Rings Gollum coming (laughs) in 2021. (laughs) It's a game with a narrative-focused adventure starring Gollum by Dedalic Entertainment? What else have they done? Didn't look it up. Me either. I saw Lord of the Rings Gollum game, and I went, (laughs) okay. I saw Lord of the Rings Gollum game, and then (laughs) a photoshopped image of Gollum as um, Kratos. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> like it's still Gollum shape I would shape. play that it's like Gollum shape but like with the Kratos face paint and yeah it's hilarious I got a shout out from Leroy oh my guy we follow each other on Twitter like personal Twitter accounts nice oh that's cool <laughs> he just shouted me out man thanks Leroy if you also want to follow Tyler on his yeah. personal Twitter account you I'll, can I'll tweet at you and like your tweets and stuff Maybe retweet them if they're pretty good. All that fun stuff. Uh, any other? I've got some like big news. Yeah. Um, any other quick little ones? Yes. Probably. So, Avengers Endgame. It's going to be three hours and two minutes long. <gasps> so bring your diapers. Yes. Adult diapers. I I really hope they put in like a ten minute intermission. I do too. I do too. I hope we lose the seven trailers before the movie too. Um, oh jeez. Because we're going to be there for like four hours at this rate <laughs> after credits. And, right. Um, the Joker film is editing. Did you guys see that picture this week? I didn't. So they're taking the time and they're making <laughs> it shorter? No, no, no. They're, they're doing the theatrical cut first. Then they're going to add everything back in. Oh! Yeah. Uh, because, you know, that's how movies are made. That, that makes sense. Yeah. That's, you make it exactly how I've it comes wondered, out in the theaters. I've wondered why some movies are so long sometimes. Yeah. And then you do a director's cut where you... You get everybody to come back and film more. Oh. Because that's how that works. Yeah, I get it. Makes sense. Uh, yeah. Um, Cinema. <laughs> uh, Supernatural is finally ending. Yes. After 15 seasons. You that's know, the image. He yes. looks like the Joker. For yeah. Real. I'm down. I'm excited for I'm that. So <clears throat> maybe like eight years ago, they are on season six or something. And I was like, you know what? They would have been on seven. I, I don't know. doesn't matter. <laughs> but I was like, I, I wasn't watching, but I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to try and watch this anymore. I'm going to wait till it ends. No. <laughs> I'm not watching 15 seasons of something that, listen, if you're a Supernatural fan, that's totally cool. But after season three, I was kind of Just, on, on the way out. Like, yeah. It's like, okay, this is too much. I don't need this. Yep. Finally ending. I saw a picture a of good Steve, run. Stephen Amell posted of him and Jared Padalecki drinking wine together. And it said <laughs> the uh, first the first soon-to-be unemployed actors meeting went really well. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's awesome that they're having fun, though. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Listen, those Supernatural guys. They're awesome. Besides that, though, they've been doing a show for 15 seasons. They don't have to work anymore. No. They can retire. They won't. but they, And thank goodness they won't, but they could. I, I think I would. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Big news. Big news. All right. We had two big gaming announcements. Mm. Well, one was not <laughs> one, so big. One big gaming announcement. And then another kind of big TV announcement. Anyways, first off, Google announced Stadia. Um, this is game streaming from Google. This is not based on any console or hardware you have. This is gaming Truly in the cloud, 
via streaming to your device running a Chrome browser. Um, the idea is you can play this on anything that runs Chrome. Um, when it announces, when it when it launches later this year, it is <clears throat> going to have 4K HDR, 60 frames per second, at if you have an internet um, at 30 mega megabits. I don't so megabytes, megabits, mega mega bizzles, mega bizzles, mega bizzle drizzles. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty cool. It's got some other cool features like. Um, automatically like streaming 4K 60 also to YouTube mm -hmm. so you can have that archived um, cl like quick easy clip sharing um, like screen sharing or like not screen sharing but like allowing someone to play your game mm -hmm. if you really want to um, no cost or distribution model yet so we don't I we kind of all assume it'll be like a pay 10 bucks a month and you'll yeah. get access to these but that hasn't been confirmed, so it could still be a pay per game, but I doubt it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would make more sense. It would make more sense. I know Google ran like a little, uh, I want to say it's a stress test. Like an alpha test. With uh, test Assassin's last Creed. Year. Mm -hmm. um, was it Odyssey that they did that with? Yes. Um, and a lot of people really liked it. I yeah. It was pretty cool. Uh, I don't know. I wish I would have got to play in that just to see. I'm just curious to see, like, I know they've said the requirements are like 30 mbps internet and, yeah or megabytes per second if you, want to you know what my favorite part about that little like a uh, trailer they released for it was what every single group of people they showed playing that game they're all like oh yeah yeah look at this we're gaming and they're with a group of people that's not how i play assassin's creed odyssey no. <laughs> it's like this ah oh, gosh darn it <laughs> mine's like this I'm running to where I'm going. Yeah, just, just running. Just get on the horse. I was in the middle of combat. Oh. <laughs> I was just talking about what I do 95% of the time I'm playing it. It's <laughs> running. It's, Same with fair. Red Dead. Auto automatic parkour. Just. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is awesome. So ah, that is no. Stadia from Google. Oh, so what do you think cool. of the name? I get it. Like, they're, it's a, like, stadium. Like, oh. it's a place where you can get together and play with your friends yep. or watch. I play. Googled Stadia without the T and it popped up <laughs> as like some Indian like propaganda thing. And I was like, oh, <laughs> it was on my work computer. I was like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what to do. So then I Googled the right thing and then closed it out. So it was like, oh, yeah, he just had a typo. Like, okay, <laughs> good, good. good call. Good cover. I was really scared. <laughs> I, I think the name sucks. I think it's like Stadia. It stands out. You'll remember it. I'm fine with it. Yeah. Uh, it I'm, stands out. It didn't. I don't know. It didn't gr better than grab the me, next I guess, one. What yeah. Do, what do you think the price point of Stadia is, though? Like, I know. Like, how much do you think the controller is going to cost? Oh, controller. Sixty to eighty. Mm, no, I I bet it's poorly built, and it's forty to fifty. How interested are you guys in getting this? I got that shiny Xbox at home and yeah. that shiny <laughs> PlayStation 4 at home and that shiny Nintendo Switch at home. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I have good. I have zero interest in this. I'm and especially since like how it works. Like I can take my Switch anywhere. So I can literally game anywhere if I wanted to. So I'm interested from a perspective that it is definitely this is the, the future. future. Yeah, that's um, that's where I'm at. And if, but the the struggle is going to be getting it on devices that I like care about. Like I don't want to just carry around an extra controller everywhere. <laughs> you don't? No. Interestingly enough, I don't. But if you put it on a lanyard, if you put it on, <laughs> if you put if you put it on Switch, and I was able to use my Switch, that's a different story. That's not going to happen. Switch doesn't have like. The it, I guess it could happen, but then it doesn't. Happen. Maybe if you have the buffed up switch, that's yeah, good. exactly. Yeah. It does, well, it doesn't that's have wide. like wireless. The switch muscle. It doesn't <laughs> have. It doesn't have like LTE capabilities. Yeah. So that's that's where it's like if I'm on a home network, why would I not just go sit down and play on a console? But anyways, I get that this isn't for those people. 
Um, no, I'm more interested to see how this evolves in two or three years with some competition mm-hmm. and yeah. other things. I just I just want to see how it works. Yeah. Yeah. Brett will buy one and I'll play it. <laughs> you don't buy – oh, I, a controller you mean? Yeah. Yeah. You'll, you'll buy the controller. I'll buy the controller, sure. Why Do not? you have to use that controller? I don't think so. Oh, well, but just to get some of the special feature, like special functionalities. I don't care about functionality YouTube. Yeah. Nobody's going to watch me play games. <laughs> Touche. Uh, so Apple had their big event today. And before we talk about Apple TV, I'm going to talk about Apple Arcade. Because <laughs> they announced like six different so, like service things. Um, okay, I, so real quick, yeah. just... Is this okay. like like Stadia? No. Okay, because I looked into this not at all, and I feel like that's what they were trying to say, but with the name Apple Arcade, I didn't get that vibe. <laughs> anyway, okay, keep going. Sorry. Um, it, kind of, some, it has some similar functionality. Basically, okay. it is a pay per month, but they haven't said price point. Um, you have access. It's it's right now. It's basically like Xbox Game Pass. Okay. You have access to over a hundred new and exclusive games. On your iPad, on your... Do they release any of the games? Like right now? Uh, no, like are any of the... Like have they announced any games? Uh, there was a trailer with a bunch in there, but I don't... None of them were like big AAA games. These are all... And that's and that's the thing. Like Apple <laughs> has not figured out how to talk to... Well, either they don't care about the like core gaming audience, the people who go out and buy a console... Or that's just not who their audience is, who their what their target is, um, because these are definitely like made for iPhone, made for iPad, made for Apple TV things. Which means, and it's not it's not streaming, so it's a download to your device, kind of like current consoles, and then you like the App Store, like the App Store, yeah. But basically, instead of paying per app, you get right. you know you right. get a list. Um, you know what this says to me? Sorry, keep going. No, no, you're well. Uh, it's ad free. Um, oh, good. And no microtransactions <laughs> or DLC. If they have DLC, it's free. Um, you know what? Th- this says to me that the App Store is not making the money they want it to. Let's find a way to get people to not pay for apps and just pay for a monthly service. That's what this feels like. I would. I wouldn't. I wouldn't disagree. I'd say that probably the. Apple knows that there's good games in there that deserve to make money and that, admittedly, they want to make money off of, Mm -hmm. right? And so what they're saying is, you know, if we can get... People aren't spending $15 a month or whatever it is is going to be. It's not $15 or it hasn't been announced as $15. $10, $15, whatever it is. We think we can get that revenue via this Mm -hmm. versus right people buying them individually right i know there is one game in the app store that luke would probably play kotor oh that's right kotor is in the app store i forgot it can't came to an apple app i no, i already own it so if you didn't have if you got a free trial would you play it again probably logan logan had it on his ipad though and it didn't really didn't really work on ipad Hmm. Yeah. Anyways, I'm way less like excited fine. for this than Stadia, but yeah, Stadia seems cooler. We'll see. Um, and then the big news coming from Apple today has to do with um, movies and TV shows. First off, the Apple TV app is getting revamped. Um, it's getting a new section called channels, which basically it's just trying to be a hub for all of your subscription services. So let's say you have Hulu and Prime and whatnot. Rather than going to each of these different yeah. apps, you can just go to your Apple TV app and it's right all there. The, I did see that interface and I thought it looked really nice. It's, it looks very nice. Um, all of this stuff is ad-free. So, for example, if you were to watch, I think if you were to watch certain things on Hulu, like on Hulu, you would still get ads, but if you watch it via Apple TV, you you're not getting those ads. Is what I understand is how I understand it to work. Pay five dollars, get Apple TV, no ads. <laughs> um, it's Second also move. Apple TV. The Apple TV app has been limited to Apple devices. It is coming to smart TVs, 
um, but for, like the biggest brand, Samsung, LG. Um, I don't know about Sony. Is it just going to be an update, or do you have to buy new hardware? No. Uh, for smart TVs, it should just be an update. <laughs> um, and also, Roku and Fire TV are, is also getting the app. I don't know how that works, because I don't know how those work. It's Fire. <laughs> That's Fire, dude. That's fire. <laughs> That's fire, dude. Um, and Shout then, <laughs> so that was kind of their, like, intro into TV stuff, and then they announced Apple TV Plus, which is their streaming service. Um, just put plus on things. That's just put Apple plus does. on everything. Good Lord. What I'm, is, what is the, is it the Apple credit card plus? <laughs> no, it's just Apple card. <laughs> oh. Bra. How much is that card going to cost? I don't know. You going to get one? I really want one. <laughs> <laughs> It looks so pretty. Brett, if you buy one, I will repeatedly kick you in the shins. <laughs> I've always needed a, an excuse to ice my shins, so now I have one. What? Why don't you just run around for a bit? <laughs> then ice him. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> like running around is going to hurt my shins. Well, you have a kid. You might have a toy lying around. You trip Ooh, over it. You fall down the dude. stairs. I'm That's saying there's lots point. of scenarios that could happen. That's a good point. Your your daughter might just get mad and kick kick herself for no reason. She's not supposed to kick me, but I she might be in a grumpy mood. A grumpy mood? That happens. That happens. What were we talking about? Apple TV Plus. Oh, that's right. Okay. Is that uh, their new phone? What? It's like a TV sized phone. <laughs> it's a TV sized phone. Hi. <laughs> um basically they kind of had like Uber. <laughs> a sizzle uh, I'll, I'll call it a sizzle reel yeah. of like creators walking onto stage and talking about their projects but not actually showing like hardly anything of their projects mm. um but the aim is to have premium high quality shows um that like content across all genres for all ages it's ad free online and offline just like how the you know if you were to rent something from the app store or the iTunes store now. So like you can watch it online, you can stream it, or you can, I'm going on a plane. I need to download this, mm -hmm. that type of thing. And it's coming this fall and we don't know how much it is. Man. There is a theme in That is like these a thing. Yo. Things. Yeah. You need a price nah. point. Yeah. You need nah. one. Don't uh, announce be, it until you can tell us how much it costs. I will. So. It's, but, okay. I especially agree. if it's that soon, I feel like you need to, at least I think, to it I, think th I think they they wanted to have an event where they brought their creators out to talk a little bit about inspiration, and then at WWDC they'll have like a big Wait, what? a big sizzle huh? reel. What's that? Apple has uh, <laughs> every w every June, w -W -CBD Apple every June they have a worldwide developers conference where they bring in a bunch of people. That's where they announce all of their, like, new stuff. Oh, I'm going to be busy. Other than phones, <laughs> because phones are announced in the fall, and iPads are announced in the spring. And How do you guys not know Apple's lineup, roadmap, all that stuff? <clears throat> Tyler's holding up his Samsung phone. <laughs> Samsung Galaxy S9. <laughs> I gave up on Apple a long time ago. I just don't care. <laughs> in any case, I think that's when they'll release the price point is at WWDC in early June. WWJD. That's, I'm not going to say wrong, but it's not right. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. Anyways. Anyway, I'm predicting $15.99 for that. Ugh. That would be steep. Would you get it? You're going to get no, it. No, no, it's no. Apple. Get it anyway. not, it's Apple. It's always no. steep. He's got an Apple tattoo like right here on his back. No one will ever see that. It's got a bite out of it. <laughs> Tyler took the bite. If I were to get a tattoo, serious question. I, would I you would, get an I Apple might logo? Get an Apple logo. Would you get the original Apple logo or the new one? The colored one? Yeah. That'd be fun. It's the same one that uh that dude gets in Wild Hogs. Oh, what's that actor's name? Uh, he just oh. his wife just got. Not, not sent to prison for not Macy. See, yeah, William H. Macy. William H. Macy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Leroy is my guy. Man. Leroy, He's a Samsung guy as well. Back in boom. Patrick, we were talking about Shazam right after this. Oh man, are we getting into Shazam now? Or are we getting into us first? We should talk about us first. 
So Let's anyways, talk about us. anyways, anyways. We are the three best friends. Friends that anyone could have. That's right. Sorry, that was yeah. That was nice. That happened. Patrick, thank you for saving us from that like crazy oh, rabbit hole there of <laughs> rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so us, let's talk about it. No spoilers, obviously. Which we will be have, tough. <laughs> hopefully a spoiler. We haven't talked about this. I assuming we're having a spoiler review discussion video later. Okay. Yeah, 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 why not? Yeah, why not? I won't it's really be able to about. get very much of my stuff. I really want to say out in this non-spoiler. I was going to say we're, we yeah we're not going to talk about. Do lot. we just give our impressions and our ratings? Yeah, I think we'll then... give our impressions and ratings. Move on to Shazam. We can do some pros and cons. We can do pro, some pros and cons. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Luke, what do you got? I um, talked a lot in this last section, so I'm going to give it to you. Over it's to you. it's it's good. It's really good. Um, unfortunately, I don't know how to review this movie without talking about Get Out. <laughs> I, I just don't know how. Um, I mean, it's the other work he's done, so I'm sorry about that. I'm going to do it, <laughs> even though everybody says not to. Um, Get Out, unfortunately, made me look way too hard into this movie at everything, and I shouldn't have. And it makes me, I think, critique it too much. Mm. So, like, there's a lot of stuff in it. Hold on. Rewind. There's stuff in it <laughs> that doesn't really work for me, but it's still really good. And I, I give it a fanboy worthy. Okay. Tyler? I have here a good movie with a ton of fun scares, great plot setup, and a satisfying ending. It is no get out, but it's really good. And I have it as fanboy worthy as well. Nice. Um, I said, Us is a metaphorical look at the dangers of darkness within us. As you are jerks. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 keep going, no. It's a metaphorical look at the dangers of the darkness within us as individuals and society. It's a clever and well-written story that drags you into a world with amazing actors, and it breaks rules and subverts horror suspense, the horror slash suspense genre in all the right ways. I also said it is fanboy worthy. It's not, you're right. It's fanboy I don't think approved. It is not as good as <laughs> Get Out, but it's, it's, like Luke said, it's very different. Yeah. yeah. So, I... Just without, I don't want to spoil anything, but uh, where Get Out was very subtle and it and expected you to look into things and kind of make your own thoughts, mm -hmm. kind of, uh, Us is very like, this is what this is, now we're going to have a fun horror movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, it is very much like, this is, this is what I'm trying to say. It's not where Get Out is like, I, there's a message here, but you got to find it. Yeah. So I, I just think after Get Out, you know, you're expecting, oh man, I got to really look for everything. I got to look at every single shot, yeah. every frame. You you don't have to do that with us. Us will tell the story itself. And there's plenty by the of, end of it, you'll be like, all right. There's plenty of it. things there if you look. Yeah. But if you look too deep, it you'll start yeah. like going in circles about what you're thinking and yeah. how it works. And you just can't do that. And that's. Yeah. Honestly, that's with horror in general. Sure. Yeah, you can't. You can't and take I, it I fell too, into it, and I realized literally that. Literally, or too, like, yeah, I, I can't say too much. Yeah. Oh, Battle Hub just watched us. Oh. I know Leroy said he he loved it. I think is what he said. Yeah. Yeah. I loved it with, too. I really like enjoyed it. Us. And like, also, like when we first got out, I was like. Ah, ah. A kind of on it, mm -hmm. and I had to really think about it a lot more. Yeah, and I, I like, I really do like it. Do you remember in the lobby I was telling you guys what I thought it was, and then I went home and googled it, and that's exactly what. Yeah. It was. Oh was like, yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So should we do, I guess, just a couple pros and cons on it? Yeah. Sure. Okay. You go first, Brett, because we started with me for impressions. So. I thought all of the acting was amazing. Favorite, like, uh, favorite performance? How about? Mine, uh, mine, I think is different than probably your guys's. I'm, I I yeah. assume most people are like, uh, Lupita Nyong'o is the freaking best. She, uh, she's amazing. You're gonna say the kid. The kids, the both boy, of the yeah. kids, yeah. I think, the kids are so good. Yeah. My my pro 
refer to the cast as cast, especially the kids. Oh, well, yeah. I thought I was going to be different on that. No. Mm. Yeah. Kids absolutely crush it. Lupita did a great job. I thought everybody I would, I would did put, a great I job. I would put Lupita above the kids just because of the dynamic she has to play yeah. in yeah. there. But the kids were fantastic. I mean, the kids were fantastic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So Totally agree. Um, So today at work, I listened to the soundtrack. The soundtrack is flipping fantastic. And it... I need to listen to it outside. You you should listen to it outside of the movie. The it's the song. It's the song that kind of comes up more towards the end. Mm -hmm. It is so good, and it's it's actually probably the scariest part of the movie is the soundtrack. I think. Yeah. um, I need to listen to it as well. Who did it? I don't remember. There's a guy I don't know, or girl. I don't even. Oh, it's Michael. I think Michael Abels. I think I might be totally wrong. Anyway, the soundtrack freaking. Good. Um, other pros or cons? Should we go into cons? We got some cons. I got another pro that I'd like to. I didn't mention. write down any, so I'm just thinking off the top. Of my head. <laughs> I thought Jordan Peele did a good job using anticipation. Yes. Um, in this movie, like a lot of horror movies, really try to jump the gun sometimes mm-hmm. and do like the whole jump scare thing. While there is jump scares, I think more of the fear in this movie is built through anticipation, mm-hmm. where you can see what's coming and you can see it happening. But it's just like slowly building. Mm-hmm. I think he does a good job of that in this. Agreed. I think it's one of my favorite takes on like a slasher film. Kind of. I mean, when we were Home when we invasion? were talking about it after we were ta- we were comparing it to uh, Strangers. I have um, not seen that though. So, and I think it's yeah. I think it's one of the better versions of kind of like the home invasion mm-hmm. kind of movies yeah um because it does kind of like it, it has some subversion some genre subversion it, it it spins things around every once in a while um has some surprises but like tyler said the anticipation like you have an idea the whole time of where this is going, going but and it once it gets there it's the build-up is well worth it yeah cons uh, I didn't think this movie was scary at all. <laughs> That's my main con. I don't think either of his movies are scary. Yeah, yeah so I wouldn't describe it as a. But like, even it, with Get it Out, it's in the horror the, genre. You're kind of talking about the but build. But it's not scary. I feel like the build in Get Out was better, and this one I was like, and it kind of leads into another con is that I predicted what was going to happen within like 15 minutes, right away. Yeah, and so I was never really. S- felt the anticipation or fear i guess i guess well at least as much my number one con was my expectations mm, your expectations yep. look at you <laughs> owning up to it yeah i i thought that was my number one con i expected something a little different it wasn't there but i did realize that it is a good movie it's a mm-hmm. great movie yeah um and i just I went into it, I think, with a different lens than I probably should have. Yeah, same. Mm. And I'll yeah. probably I'll probably see it again next week, and I bet I'll come out of it and be like, man, this movie's great. Yeah. But it's okay. I mean, it happens. When you make when you make a movie like Get Out, your next movie has to be really, really, really good. Hey, at least he didn't <coughs> fall into the sophomore jinx, the sophomore slump. Yeah. 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 No, he he didn't. He didn't make a no. Chronicle and then come out with Fantastic Four. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did not. So good. Fantastic Wars. Or I don't I know, call it Fan Force I don't know if I have any real any real cons with this movie. Um I have, my cons are kind of just like well, because what I think nothing like, like oh, what why Tyler because like what Tyler was saying when I when I look back at what I dis what I thought was weaker about the movie Typically, those are things that are imposed by me going into the movie, mm-hmm. expecting something different. Or, but when I but when I judge it on its own terms of what it is, I'm completely thrilled with it, and and I love it. Also, most of my like minor issues I have with it are all I think spoilers. So yeah, I just can't say them. We'll talk about them later. Yep. Yeah. All right. What was the other movie we watched this weekend together? Shazam! Shazam! Guys, <laughs> this None is... None of us changed. 
This is a freaking good movie. I am so annoyed that I will have to wait two more weeks to see this. <laughs> yeah. I am so annoyed. This movie was freaking fantastic. <laughs> like, holy crap. Like, I was... The reviews, like, and the tweets were coming out like, oh, man, guys, it's really good. And I was like, yes, it's good. You Yo. Can't be, no one can prepare <laughs> you for how good it really is. Everybody who texts me that, like, knew I saw it, they were like, how was it? And, like, I was trying to think of, like, how I wanted to respond, and I'm like, Magic. absolutely incredible. That's all I'm going to say. Like, I don't need to say anything else. It's incredible. You got to see it. Like, that's, that's all you can really say. Yeah. Yeah. I. Are we doing a, a tweet version? Or are we going to? Uh, sure, go ahead. Go for it. Go ahead, Brett, since ours are going to suck compared to yours. <laughs> I'm just going to read my actual tweet. <laughs> Uh, I said Shazam has an electric energy that jumps off the screen into the audience almost immediately and enthralls you in the life of Billy Batson and Shazam. It has the confidence to do its own thing in a sea of other superhero films. It's a booyah from me. Love it. I wrote, one of the funnest movies I've seen in recent years. Great story, great themes, and an overall great time. The cast is stellar, and Zachary Levi and Jack Dylan Grazer steal the show. Yeah. It's oh their show gosh, to begin yeah. with, but, but they but still, they steal it still. anyways. <laughs> I'm just watching this gif over and over again. I'm just like, that's awesome. Um, I said Shazam was a blast, exclamation point. Tons of fun, hilarious, and awesome themes about family. The entire cast is great. Zachary Levi, I think, was absolutely incredible. He crushed it. And also, shout out to David Sandberg, the director at <laughs> yeah. Pony Smasher. He absolutely delivered on this. Oh, yep. yeah. He's a lot of fun to follow on social media, too. That dude has so much fun yeah. making his movies. He loves it. Uh, I don't think we're going to have very many cons. I have one. Go ahead. Let's, let, let's list those real quick, and then we'll get into all I the think fun, I have the non same spoiler one. things. Um, there's just, about. and I won't really go into all of it, there's a little bit of an emotional swing that they go for, and it was really rushed, and then they just kind of move on. I was like, okay. I think it suffers like, from bad acting, too. Yeah. A little bit. Mm. But Well, thankfully, it was rushed then because of the yeah. bad acting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It didn't quite sell. Like I, I wasn't, yeah. I wasn't buying it. Like, could I have? Absolutely, but it didn't feel like I needed that. Yeah. So. And honestly, like, there's I mean, it other makes sense. and it, there's other emotional things to grapple you in the movie. So honestly, it didn't really even it didn't need, need it. it. No, yeah. I would agree. But it, but it's a kind part, of did. But it's like, a part of the story it, that they're telling. So yeah. you kinda, it would be it would be hard, plot wise, to to go into the third act. Without, without that, that. Mm -hmm. but you're right. I don't think that it was it was pulled off quite as well as it could have been. Yeah, and something that probably would have been a con, but now it's not, is the CG. Yeah, some, yeah. Some of the CG looks a little weird. I would agree. But, but then we looked up the budget. Tell them what the budget was, Tyler. A whopping eighty million dollars. That is really freaking low. That's that blew my mind when you said that. Yeah, you, you like looked the, it up. You the just effects look oh, it's really good dollars. for for an eighty million dollar movie. Yeah, it, which is crazy to say. Eighty million dollars is a lot of money. That is a lot of money, <laughs> and you know, it's just funny. Like movies like Wonder Woman and like Wonder Woman, I think was one fifty. Yeah, Aquaman was two hundred. Yeah, Justice League was 300. like eight hundred million. <laughs> Three hundred, and it looked worse. <laughs> yeah, like it's just crazy how this works, and. Um, like the, saw, the average budget now is like 110 or something like that 120 it's like 175 really for a superhero movie for yeah. a superhero Holy movie that doesn't cow. surprise me yeah way to go Walter Hamada like that's crazy but um, they'd even go for it I did see a thing that said uh, this movie's pre like advanced screening through Fandango made more than Aquaman's mm -hmm. that's insane I think people are excited for it so I, I think, mean we'll see how general audience Receives it. Receives it in two weeks, but... I think this is one of the most general audience-friendly superhero it movies ever is. made. Yeah. It absolutely it is. And it also appeals to the fanboys and fangirls. Yep. yep. For the sure. The sweaties that love this stuff. They're going <laughs> to love this movie. You know what I thought when I was watching it? 
it has like almost the exact same tone as Back to the Future. One of my favorite movies. <laughs> I agree with that. Like it's it's very funny and kooky and wild like scenarios yeah. and everything. But they like act, like they throw in some really serious stuff like Doc Brown stealing nukes and getting murdered by terrorists at the Back to the Future is no real small thing. Yeah. Like there's some pretty actually kind of scary dark stuff in Shazam which is yeah. weird. <laughs> yeah. It's like it it's it takes his kids more maturely and it takes adults less seriously and it hits the middle spot. Yep. Yeah, and it, it nails really it. Well. It, it hits the bullseye. It works really well. Something I I really appreciate appreciated about the marketing for this movie is the trailers showed nothing. Yeah. The trailer showed absolutely nothing. And this is a weird comparison, but something like when Deadpool came out, I didn't care if Deadpool wasn't on the screen. In this movie, Shazam didn't need to be on the screen for me to be like enticed. Like I was like, I want to know more about the family. I want to know more about yeah. Billy. I want to know more about his parents. Like I loved it. I yeah. thought it was awesome. Mm-hmm. Agreed. And like even the same thing with us the entire cast excluding that one person we were kind of mentioning earlier yeah is really good yeah even like the very small characters like the foster mom and the foster dad oh, i loved yeah. them they did great they were they are awesome. awesome they were oh, yeah and Fantastic. also thank you for giving us a good villain david sandberg yeah yeah villain yeah uh mark and it, strong's character mark is strong excellent. is excellent really it, good it wasn't a villain that was I'm the bad guy. <laughs> and it wasn't a villain that was like, I'm going to destroy the world. Yeah. And he, and he also wasn't the villain of, I'm going to save the world by destroying mm-hmm. humanity. Like, I feel like we get a lot of those these days. Like, yeah. Trying to be like the good guy by being a bad, like the ends justify the means. Yep. His, no, his motivation, his motivation was is good. Very yeah. Yep. So it was um, it his motivation fits with the overall theme of the movie. Yes. Also, there's some moments in this movie that made me laugh so hard. I honestly don't know what happened after. <laughs> so remember, I was telling you guys after we saw it, I was like, man, I just have the biggest headache after we watched Godzilla. Like even before mm-hmm. I actually went and like sat in your living room, laid down because oh, my no. head was hurting so bad. <laughs> it was from laughing. At one specific moment in this movie. I know what you're talking about. From then on, I had a headache the entire night. Uh, I almost fell out of my chair. I, like, jumped forward. I think we did the same (laughs) thing. I covered my face. We both did this. Yeah. (laughs) It was so good. Uh, Battle Hub has a question for us. Okay. How does Shazam's costume look? It looks good. But also bad, and they like, talk about that in the movie. So, it's cheesy, and it's supposed to be. It, yeah. yeah, it's intentionally cheesy. What surprised me was how good I thought it looked when he, like, my fear was that all we got were really, like, were stills. He wasn't moving a lot. And I'm, my fear was he was going to be walking around like, these are clearly inflated, like, balloons in my, for muscles. Yeah. But it doesn't really feel that way. He no. still feels like he moves very naturally and mm-hmm. It looks like it looks good, even though it is cheesy. Yeah, I really appreciated how often they actually made fun of the suit too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The first time anyone sees him in it is a, like incredible. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I almost just even said what the quote was, but I won't. Uh. <laughs> all right. Um, I know. I'm trying not to say like quotes from this movie. Yeah. Any other it's April fifth yet? Yeah. Any other thoughts on Shazam? Go see it when it comes out. Yes, definitely go see that. Yes, it's, go see it. It's it's awesome. It's so good. It's oh, I didn't even say it. it's a it's a definite booyah. Yeah, absolute booyah. Take your family. Everybody yeah. will like this. movie. It's a movie about family. Yeah. So and it it nails it. Just like Deadpool too. Absolutely nails it. That movie's about family. Did you mm-hmm. know that? So was us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lots of family films. All these family movies. Oh, guys. Shazam. Yeah. Are we ready for... Yep, go, in, go into the fan box, please. Fan box. Fan box. Keep that up there. I saw... Did we only have... 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> Is that the song you're talking about? Nope. Oh, that song's incredible too, though. Yeah, that one's called Anthem. Mm. Triggered. <laughs> <laughs> what's our question please tell me so i can give a amazing answer um don't answer that i can read it from here <laughs> uh patrick you should go watch the movie read to it, find out read his question i'm not gonna read that question <laughs> 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 Um, no what's comment. The fir- first question. <laughs> first question is or um, only question. I don't know how many questions we have. Game Lord Master. Oh yeah. This is <laughs> hey, what the Hey, what the fanboy saw this meme the other day and thought it would be a great <laughs> question for the cast. <laughs> Lord of the Rings is a PG thirteen movie. As such, it is allowed one f bomb. Where do you put it? <laughs> So I thought of mine. We're Hashtag at dinner. I thought of mine. Your secrets. So mine would be in the Return of the King, after um, they're at the Black Gate. <laughs> uh, Aragorn gives his speech. He goes and talks to the voice of Saruman. Comes back and they're all kind of standing there, and he like sees the eye, and Gandalf's like releases him from the little enticement he has, and he says. For effing Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That was mine. <clears throat> mine is also involving Saruman. Uh, no, mine's Sauron. Saruman is the white wizard. Sauron. I think you said Saruman. Oh, well, I meant Sauron. Oh, I said the big eye, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But I you, knew, we knew who you were talking yeah. about. Oh, well, kind of. <laughs> mine. <laughs> my, oh, no, not really. Mine. Uh, <laughs> also. I think mine's in the two towers. Well, I don't know without you telling me. Uh, Say it. I don't remember yours. When Gandalf realizes that Saruman's about to kill him. Oh, the first one. Okay. And I just imagine him looking at Saruman and just being like, (laughs) (laughs) as he's getting struck down. That is mine. Um, I would really like it if at the end of Return of the King... When the eagles come and pick up Sam and Frodo, <laughs> Sam's just like, where the f- were you two movies ago? Fourth wall break? Yeah, just break the fourth wall. What if, awesome. what if instead of vocally, they just did it symbolically, Frodo gets on the boat and he just goes. <laughs> <laughs> this would have been nice at the beginning of our adventure. <laughs> <laughs> now you know why I'm really leaving. Oh... Oh, oh, Battle Hub has a question. But it's, he asked, how did we see Shazam so early? Because we're in this awesome podcast. That's, <laughs> not, that's really, not, not true. Really. <laughs> uh, Fandango had a special screening two weeks early. Um, so Fandango, Axiom, and, Axiom? Did Axiom Adam? do it? Adam. Adam tickets did oh, Aquaman. Yeah, Adam. No. Like, uh, Aqu- Amazon. Amazon did Amazon did, Aquaman. Did, Aquaman. Amazon did it through Adam. Yeah, um, we'll maybe try and share stuff more frequently when we see things like that. But yeah, there more and more there's like pre-screenings for things um, yeah. for certain films, especially if a company feels really confident. Also, if product. they need to build yeah. up a lot of hype because it's in between hype? two massive Marvel movies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. one more thing. This is it's gonna be a good palate cleanser before Endgame. Yes. yes. Yeah. Because it's, it's way different than Captain Marvel was. Yeah. It's way better. It's, it, it is way better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting They um, <laughs> how, how DC's strategy has shifted and, like, the last two of their movies have been so, like, they're, they're not comedies, but they're very much... Lighthearted. Lighthearted. And fun. Adventure romps, right? They're fun. And, mm-hmm. and, and Marvel, hey, just because of where don't the say universe that word. is it's a DC at. Movie. Sorry. We They're don't dark say, and scary. They don't say the word fun in a DC movie. <laughs> Release the Snyder Cut. All the joy just Release got sucked out of this room. Every time, every time someone says, Release the Snyder Cut, a little joy 
just evaporates a from small, my soul. A small piece of me dies. <laughs> if somebody every asks, time I say it. I, if somebody asks or says that the Snyder Cut is definitely going to happen, I'm going to say they're in a freaking dream. <laughs> You're, in a You're living dream. in a freaking dream world. Oh, yes. I'm just quoting Zack Snyder. You're uh, oh, shout out to Siebel TV. TV. He asked a question oh. on uh, last week about the sta- oh. when the Stadia reveal happened. So thoughts on it? Yes, thank you. We have lots of thoughts earlier yeah. in the show, and my thoughts are. <laughs> we'll see. Mine are. We'll see, right? I'll check it out if somebody else buys it. <laughs> Unless it's cheap. If it's like fifty bucks, I might do it just to see it. A month? No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> that was a scary laugh. My my laugh. Got I'm real a little dark. scared right now. Got real dark, real fast. I'm uncomfortable. Hey, must be in a DC movie. Has a dark laugh. I can play the Joker. That was way too low to be a Joker laugh, I feel like. (laughs) Okay. End the show. I'm leaving. (laughs) Never coming back. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Yeah. Any any other (laughs) thoughts before we say goodbye this week? Um, Go see Shazam when it comes out. Go see us if you haven't already. We won't be live next week. Next week we will have some special things um, on YouTube for sure. Should still be on the podcast if I can edit it correctly. Brett's going to run the show by himself next week. You're just going to do the live show by yourself next week. It's going to be a – sure, why not? It'd be like a newscast. Well, just, <laughs> just well, this week and there news. was something. There was that stream of the guy for like who like fell asleep for like six hours. We yeah, got a like lot that, of viewers. Right? Ooh, speaking of falling asleep, the dude behind us fell asleep while we were watching. Oh, oh, he was snoring he was so hard. So and also, the people Ugh. in front of us just finished off a lot of blunts. It is like it was. It was a crazy showing. <laughs> My goodness. Um, yeah, it was. A, it was a fun showing. No, maybe maybe we could do. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen um, the Try Guys. They they have a Keith eats the menu. We could just do an eat the menu episode. What menu are we eating? What do you want? Well, like if we go to like Red Lobster, their menu is literally like a leather book, so it would be hard to chew through. That's true. All but right. I'm just let's, imagining let's... a fun episode where we're like there's just a bunch of food on this table we can eat. Let's let's wrap this up. Oh. We're, we're getting ridiculous. Tyler, Maybe in the Tyler future. says goodbye. When are we ever not ridiculous? Um, That's true. Thanks for joining us this week. Yeah. Uh, hit the like button on the YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. I'm just affirming his <laughs> comments. Subscribe. Oh yeah. Oh, my goodness. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram, at WhatTheFanboy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can find the podcast on iTunes, yep. SoundCloud, Google Play. Uh-huh. We'll see ya. <laughs>